Good morning, guys. I will explain the very full face of makeup in just a second. Welcome back to this video. Hey. And good morning, Dee Dee. You can probably guess we are still at Team Fredericks, but it is day two of our camp. And the reason I look like I'm about to hit Oceana, is Oceana still a club? Did you have an Oceana? <laughs> Maybe I should say Vodka Revs or something like that. Um, it's because we are doing a bit of a Toggy Champion shoot today. I don't know why I've gone in with such a harsh lip. I don't know who I think I am. Anyway, good morning, baby. He says, can I, can I go for a graze, please? Yes, I'm very dirty. <laughs> I'm very, very dirty. Right, let's go for a graze. And then today is pretty much gonna be jam packed full of training for you guys, because I know you love a training video. So we're gonna do poly kind of work in the morning and then grid work in the afternoon. Very exciting. Right guys, there has been a change in plan. There was me saying this is just gonna be training, not too much vlogging today. Dee has other ideas. So, Dee Dee the other day went galloping and then she came back and was like a bit wet and had a good roll and she's come up with, not gonna touch it. Let me just undo this rug. Came up with this funny rash and it went away and it was looking really good. Can you see on her belly there? There's so little to see. You can kind of see better from that angle. It doesn't look like anything. It's really speckledy, but she's really sore on it. You can see it goes all the way under here. It's really hard to see on a grey, on a vacancy. Like, she's just a bit hivey. So, needless to say, I don't really want to ride her like that because it's right where my leg and my girth's gonna go. It's gonna really irritate her. So, she's currently having antihistamines to try and make it go down, and fingers crossed that will do the job because she's had some of those vet recommended the last two days and it's been fine. So yeah, she's just having those in a feed and Lucinda has very kindly given me a horse for the first session. So I'm going to be riding Blue. Don't know who Blue is. Um, so yeah, for the first session we'll do that. So we're still gonna film, we'll get to see one another different horse. It's actually be really good for me because I need to get used to riding horses when I want to buy a horse. So it, it, it'll work out fine. Very, very lucky that Lucinda has got one that I can ride. And hopefully you'll feel better for the baby girl. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready, get my riding hat on. We've got the lovely people from Husk here. It's very exciting. Dee Dee was meant to be wearing their lovely boots this morning, but hopefully we'll have to put them on this afternoon. So they're doing photos, and then Amelia from Something From The Heart is also coming to do photos for Toggy and Champion. So it's very busy. Yeah, thank God I've actually got a horse that I can ride. Because <laughs> otherwise I'd be like, Ugh, I can't fill out these promises. Right, I'm gonna get ready. Right guys, ready for session one on the gorgeous blue. I don't actually know very much about blue other than they bought him as a project. So I remember watching Ellie ride him and then he's subsequently been sold, but is now on livery here. How old is blue, Lucinda? He's probably nine this he's time. Probably nine. Um, <laughs> and he's it belongs to a lovely little girl who's at Stoner School. And just because uh, you want to save Dee Dee to later. Yeah. Uh, Blue's actually very well trained over the pole, so it's yeah. actually quite useful. He'd be nice to give me yes. a lesson on. Yeah. Um, and he's very rideable. Yeah. And, you know, he's used to being lots here. I'm excited. It's very good for You're me. You're getting nervous. Don't get nervous. <laughs> Come on, just do what I said yesterday. Sorry? Do what I said yesterday. Keep his attention. Okay. Nice, deep... Um, Deep neck on blue in the walk, and then go into trot and not round the outside. Right, in and out. There, good. That's where his shape needs to be. Okay. He's easy to get there. We gotta just maintain it. Okay. Sorry, team. I'm chasing you, apparently. Good. And blue needs to be a bit quicker. Quicker with the back end. That's better.
good. How do you feel? Nice, easy. Yeah. And weirdly, so much easier to have my leg open on him than on D. Yes. Like. Yeah. So it's quite good to practice on him. Yeah. We need to cut his tail. <laughs> Mate, you want to do rent a horse? It's lovely. <laughs> T, do you feel like a uh, celebrity having all these cameras here <laughs> with a paparazzi? And let the horses trot, and then just test. Test them a little, certainly blue ride a bit stronger forward. Tight hand, hand down, hand down. Feel his mouth, feel his mouth. Click, click, click. There you go, now he's got a trot. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. You know, they gotta, they, they, you gotta slightly manufacture a little bit of okay, yeah. energy with him, whereas Tina doesn't. She's got the energy. Yeah, because you're watching his ears. Yeah. Horses talk to you with their ears as well. You know, if their ears go smack forward, you know that they've lost focus. If they've gone back, they're probably tense. Right, why don't you both halt and then trot? Halt, halt. Okay. Feel his mouth, feel his mouth, leg on a bit. Leg on. Yeah, a little bit too much hand. Yeah. Right, he's quite well yeah. trained, okay? Oh, he's quite responsive. So your fingers don't move all the time. You keep your fingertips into the palm of your hand and your wrists and your forearm are soft. If you keep moving your fingertips, you lose your reins. Good boy. Makes your reins a bit longer. Tiny bit. Good Snuff. boy. Sit back to get the contact. Right. Ready to canter? Yep. Right. Stay this end. So ideally... Are you going to us cantering through that? Yes. Blimey. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. my horse hasn't really got a rash, I just wanted a nice yeah. small one. Keep, can, keep him in, in the box in front of you. Okay. All right? You connect it, hold him as you go in through the transition up. Inside leg. Okay. Forward, out, solid back and canter. Hold him, hold good, lovely. Easy, yeah? And your inside leg is on off, just a little bit, on off. Now, make the canter shorter by uh, your half halts happening, but they are also, um, what would be the word? Slightly more obvious. So I now want you to kick into canter. Round here, Megs, in here. This is your circle. Okay. Right, this is your circle, not there. Inside the logs, good. Oh, inside the logs, yeah. okay. Inside the poles, just inside the poles. Sit on him. Come on. Come on, good boy. All right, good boy. Okay, good boy. I want you to go the other end and go and get him into canter like we did yesterday. Bad. So let's go left canter and we're going to start poles. Okay, okay. Yep, it's good. You're quite comfy, aren't you? Really comfy. Good. It's so nice to. Ride a horse again. Okay, it's a canter. Okay, and he's good. In his canter, his transitions. Yeah. All right. So you keep him in the box in the front. So yeah. the, the outline doesn't change. Good. Good. That's nice. Little half halt to the outside and canter. Good. Good. Well done. All right, so Boy. next time you're just going to go through these five or six poles. Six okay. poles. Ooh, okay. God. Now, where's my shoulder? He, up? Yes, <laughs> you've got to turn him with both reins right, towards okay. me. Okay. Right. Look at the pole. Look at the yellow. Don't go bigger. Don't go bigger. Don't go bigger. Whoa! 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 Turning. Sorry. Okay. Small. Small. Turn. Am I inside. coming inside these yes. logs? Inside. Okay, now look at the turn now. Slower. Outside rain. Whoa! Give. Whoa, give, whoa, give, whoa, give. There you go. Turn. Good. Good. You counting? Count. Good. Inside leg. Yeah, careful you don't go to the first pole drifting in. Right, okay. Try and get in the middle. Absolutely. Middle, 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 middle. Discipline. Middle. Middle. Look at the last. There you go. Easy. Yeah, yeah. better. And again. 
Oh, careful! He's, <laughs> he's quite sensitive to that, <laughs> Kenta. Yeah. Sorry. Let me get my let me get my ducks in a row. Good oh, boy. Now, make sure that your outside ray and outside leg do the turning. Think okay. of that. Oh God, I've lost my pole. Sorry. Turn your outside. Yeah. Use your outside rein. Good. Outside. Good boy. Outside. Good count. Good. Lovely. Good boy, Blue. After this one, go down the end and do the other poles, which are longer. That's better. Good. Count, count, count. Now slightly feel when you get to the next lot of poles, they're slightly longer. Okay. Down there. That was a nice miss. Okay, trot, Ooh. trot, canter. So all it is, it, half halt, half halt, half halt. Don't throw the horse forward. Okay. Canter. Forward. Good. Whoa. Now these short ones. So you're using the gears. You're changing the gears. Short gear, long gear. Yeah. Second gear to fourth gear. Oh. I and again, stay this end. Completely dropped him then, didn't no, I? No, no, you, you've got to place the horse. Okay. Don't be frightened to adjust the canter coming in. Yeah. All right, so with a horse that's trained, you can shorten him in one stride. Yeah. Okay, and again, canter. Oh, sorry, canter, honey. Come. Canter, canter, canter. I still want to run the boyfriend over. Up. Don't worry about him, he's fine. He's a big boy. I won't find another boyfriend, Count. Lucinda. Count. Yeah. So I'll look after him. <laughs> Blue won't go near him anyway. <laughs> now, eyes on the yellow pole. Three. Good, good, there you go. Good, go large. Don't change the canter. Think about bouncing him. Bouncing him. Good, soften. Very good. Now shorten. Other poles. Shorten. Bounce him. Outside rein. Outside. Soft, soft. Good. Soft. Now go slightly forward. Good. Now bounce him again on your bum. Half halting. Forward. Soft. Whoa. There. Better. Yep. And forward again. Right, now shorten him. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Through these poles now. So go large there. Through the poles. Steer him with your lower leg forward. Forward. Good. And good. Turn left. Good. Poles. Short. Bouncing, bouncing. Counting, counting. Good. Good. Stay out. Leg heel out a bit. Through here. Trot. Canter right. Trot. Oh. Good. Think of your aid. Canter right. Lovely. Good. Poles. Oh, good. Well done. Now go a little bit forward, then shorten him. Short poles. I'll make these a bit longer. Oh. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. I drifted, but she didn't see. Good. All right. So the rhythm never changes, but the length of stride does. Yeah, yeah. Good, I'm making these longer. Well done. Ooh, steady, on, sit mate. back, sit back, save it. Good. Good. Through the tram lines and stay on this rein. Look straight. Good. Then the, the long poles, look at the yellow count. Maybe adjust him on his back legs. There, you got it. Soften, soften. 
hurts because they can only lengthen their stride if you soften to yeah. them. Yeah. Now shorten him. I'm going to make these ones shorter. Bad okay. luck. Canter. Now wait, wait, nearly halt, nearly halt, nearly halt. Good. Don't let him um, cruise to the right. Cruise to the right. Don't okay. let him fall in. Don't make him wait. Kick, 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 kick. There you go, yeah, yeah. good. So the circle, the whole circle has to be shorter. Okay. So you're starting to come like on a 15 meter. Go tight, turn, turn. Good, good, boy. good. turn, turn, turn. Easy. Oops. Doesn't matter. Gently walk. <laughs> Bless him. Gently and canter. Hold the mouth. Hold the mouth on the outside. Outside as well. Come on. Ah, too much. Yeah, don't start <laughs> twisting. God, yeah? I'm like really uneven with my hands, aren't I? Well, you do too. You do too much change. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just keep it still. Good boy. Keep it still. Outside knuckle always stays on that side of the neck. Okay. Yeah. Good. Not too short. Not too short with the rein. Good. Let him have a bit of, little bit of neck. Okay. Dan, looking. Outside ear down. Okay. A little miss. Feel the canter at the end. That's what you want all the time. Right. Okay. Bounce him. Count. Give him a kick. Outside. Kick. Stay. Wait. 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 There's good. That's now it, go yeah. forward. Forward. Go large. Go forward. 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 Yeah. Go on. Use your rein in and out a bit, in and out. And the big poles, that's better, keep him rounder. He wasn't happy. Good, forward, good, and forward again. Forward, forward, forward. Go large, forward, go large. Hop, 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 good. Try and loosen his neck a little bit each way. There you go. Good girl. Good. Very good. Super. Yeah. Keep working. Keep working him in. And then collect him and short poles. This is going to be hard kick. On off. On off. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Turning. Turning now. Yeah. Save I the day. Come to... on. Don't talk. Yes, sir. If you're talking, you're not counting. Very good. Stay out. Good. Click and throw forward medium. Go. 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 Go on. More. There you go. Now half halt. Brilliant. Now you're able to use the gears. Yeah. Yeah? Good. Let him have a trot. Oh. And trot and trot and round and round. Good, rounder, lower in the neck, just a little bit. Go on, a bit lower, there you go. Over his back. Yeah. Right, I'm back with my little grey pony who deserves a treat. And her boyfriend's back. And her boyfriend's back, she says, I was, I was upset that Banksy was taken away. Did not like that one bit. Lovely ride on Blue. That was actually really educational. So good for me, as I said, because when I've been trying horses, A, I found that I've been getting a little bit nervous, and B, it's just very different to riding Dean Jambam, obviously. So very, very beneficial for me. And hopefully, you're going to do the afternoon session because I want to go to jump you. Oh, and poor Tina Boo has hurt her back. So we're just doing a little lie down here. Just a, bit of... a bit of ice therapy on the concrete. <laughs> that horse is like, oh no, someone, someone's died. <laughs> oh yeah, remember when you did that? I've never done that back so perhaps we should. Yeah. A bit late now, he's already seen me down here. <laughs> Anyway, we, oh, focus. We're now gonna go and watch Lucinda ride Marley, which is the gorgeous advanced stallion. And she's basically gonna take what we've just done and like magnify it times 100. So she's gonna do super, super Sorry. short poles and super, super long poles to show the differences in the canter. See, annoyingly, that session would be really, really good for you, you little terror. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're naughty. Yes. You got out of being on the video earlier. I know. Peter Zia. That pasty hat you've got on. Yeah, yes, it is. It is. Peter in the pasty hat. <laughs> And then we go bigger, bigger, bigger. Good boy. Bigger. Have we lost Amelia? Oh, there she is. Good boy. And then row, give, row, give, row, give, row, give. And get the last. Good boy. And then we can do a sneaky little flying change through the skinny poles. Same thing, counting. One, two, three, eight, change. <laughs> He's like a little Tonka toy, isn't he? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good boy. Just to show you guys how narrow these are. <laughs> That's, okay, that's one, two, not even three of my feet, and he's just cantered down to the flying change. With a shoulder in. Am I gonna get run over? <sighs> oh, oh. And is he advanced, Lucinda? Oh yeah, he was advanced at eight. Blimey. But of course then I broke myself. Yeah. And never rode him again. Oh. So. Um, I did actually, I, after six months, after my knee, when supposedly I was fixed, yeah, I cantered him round West Wilts novice cross country schooling, yeah, and then I had it scanned, and they went, uh, -uh. Oh. it's not mended. So that was really the last time I jumped. Oh, yeah, uh, and I do. I play around with him. Um, you know, I'm happy. You know, six years later, I'm happy playing around with certain horses over little things. Yeah. But to be fair, oh my training words. them to do this sort of stuff is more beneficial than jumping them. Yeah. So yeah. smart. And the reason the poles are so good is because then you can teach them to collect. All right. Oh, I'll try it. Look, I'll canter these ones. You're going to canter look. those? There you go. <laughs> Good girl. Good boy. Again, guys, let's, let's play how wide is it? One, two, oh, three and a half of my feet. So, you know, really wide. Isn't it just? Oh no, it is. Do this it is just three now, of my feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that this afternoon. <laughs> so, do you think he would have been your five-star horse? Would have been a five-star horse for you? Uh, I certainly, certainly would have been being very competitive at four-star. Right. Now, stallions are funny because ah. they've got their bits to yes. look after. You know, if you think of the stallions that have gone five star, they're all slightly on the edge. Right. That's he's interesting. Not, he's not on the edge. That's why his, his brain is so good. Right. Now, when I see Ellie riding around advance, which she's done on a few occasions, and she's a kid. Yeah. You know, he absolutely looks after her. Oh. Um, and he's got more scope, more step, whatever, than his mother had. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to be... So he's out of Brit, is he? Yeah. So oh. he was the second one, the second wow. embryo. Um, you know, and I think if I'd ridden him... Yeah. Yes. Wow. But I'm very accurate. Yeah. And that's the only reason Britt got where she got. Yeah. Is because I rode her to the right spot. Every time. At the right pace, pretty well every time. Yeah. Rare, rare occasions. Uh, and that's probably why I wasn't, you know, the best cross country rider, because I was a little bit too 
uh, busy, right. a little bit too hooky. Yeah. But I'd ridden a lot of average horses. Um, yeah, so you have to be very precise. Yeah, and if they're average, you've got to ride them better. Yeah. These are quite wide. Good boy. So it just shows you can do trot and canter poles. Oh. I mean, it's less setting up if you can trot and canter the same poles, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's my aim. You yeah, see? yeah, you want an easy life. <laughs> oh so, not God. exactly long trot poles. I was going to say they're they? not even long trot poles. He and Millie were the only two foals ever born while both parents or at the Olympics. I remember you saying yeah. that. that was Which is quite cool. I mean, it's, that's probably changed now. Yeah. But at the time, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, man. my. Honestly, you are he's a dude. So smart. And he, and he, I promise you, he hates coming in here. He would far prefer to be up there. I do all my dressage training up there. Well, Marley. But you know, he's, he's a good boy and he's not. I think you'd be perfect husband. You know, he's, com he's competed every year since he was four. Blimey. And he's 15. Um, it used to be semen sell pays for school fees. Now it's <laughs> semen <laughs> pays for university fees. Semen sent you to school, kids. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Get that so. on a bumper sticker. <laughs> but it's interesting seeing this, isn't it? What your aim is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this time next year when we come tea, we'll be able to do that. Okay. <laughs> It's because I'm going to buy one of these cinders and they can already do it. You should leave that mare here for a year and then ride her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, because then it will have quadrupled in price. Right, guys, I have been trusted to take, I say trusted, look at him, he's an absolute legend, he's so chill, to take Marley back in after our absolute masterclass of doing poles. And you will notice I have been sipping away on my Y Food. A massive, massive thank you to Y Food for sponsoring this weekend for us. They have allowed this amazing training camp to be possible. But today I am on the salted caramel and oh, I've still got a little bit, a little bit left in here actually. But this has kept us going. We obviously had our little bit of toast this morning. You'll have seen on Tina's video. Um, but then it has been pretty go, go, go. No time to stop. Like we literally nailed a cup of tea. Then we're back out in the arena filming. So these are an absolute godsend. A what flavour? A tea flavour. Can you imagine? Do you like the salted caramel? You know what, I actually fancy a sweet one for lunch today because I feel like I just want to cry in it. Oh, no jokes. Yeah, I do you like that. Your back, yeah. Um, discount code, guys. Elphic-YouTube, it's going to pop up. It's the easiest one to use. Don't use Tina-YouTube. Four letter words, easier you'll, to spell. You'll get a be better discount than mine, probably. <laughs> no, you won't. You'll still get the same 10% off, but the link is down below. Anyway, I'm going to pop Marley Moo away and then we're going to chill and watch some more riding. Okay, guys, this is just very interesting. So we've got Husk with us today. They've been suiting and booting our horses. And now, so Marley's just come in after wearing the Husk boots and we're doing a temperature gauge yeah. of his legs. We're about thermoregulation. So thermoregulation is, is not actually interfering with the natural temperatures of the horse's legs. Okay. So we just, all our boots generally, um, through our studies, show that they don't actually add any heat to the horse's leg but the horse's leg will warm up. Yeah, it naturally, has to warm up. yeah. But, so you don't want to keep them cold, otherwise they'll have an injury because they're not flexible enough. So you actually want to make, you want, their temperature does rise, but you want the boot to not interfere with that. So oh, that's what these products do. Wow. Yeah, so Gosh. they regulate the temperature. Yeah. So even when it's cold, they regulate the They'll be the right temperature. Yeah, every time. That is remarkable. Yeah. The temperature here is 20, well, the last one I took off his right four, was 27.2. So if you think that their body temperature is always 37, 38, yeah. then what you want, you don't want it to ever go anywhere near 40. So anything between 38 and 40, even then the cells start to deform, but once it gets over 40, and if you see sweat on the legs, then, because there's no vascularization, or very little vascularization on the horse's leg, but there is on the horse's back. So right. they lose their heat through their back. Yeah. So if you see sweat on the legs, 
you've overdone it. It's which so cool. often you do with the fluffy boots, don't you? Yeah. And every time God, that's the cells that is start interesting. to denature, and it's each time they denature, it damages the matrix of the ligaments and the, and the tissues in the leg. So each time it's a cumulative effect. So people will say, oh, I don't see the injured now, and but in years to come. It will. Have yeah, if, if they're wearing boots every day everything. and getting sweaty, it affects their it affects their response to temperature rises. So normal temperature levels will suddenly uh, become a problem. No. It will affect no. their no. extension no. flexion no. reaction. No. It will affect everything. God. Yeah, it's really yeah. deep. <laughs> oh, I mean, a bit, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's lack of knowledge. That's yeah. Right, guys, if you're watching at home and your horse gets sweaty legs in your boots, yeah. go to the Husk website. Beware. Yeah, beware. My comfy pair of slippers. Now back on the gorgeous Dee Dee. She's still, I don't know if you'll be able to see from there, she's still a little bit irritated by it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see how she goes. She was dead keen to come out here. She's pleased to be doing something. So hopefully doing a bit of jumping will take her mind off of things. But I'm just gonna give her a walk around, wait for Lucinda to come out. And then I believe we're working down a classic Frederick's grid, which should be good. That's fine. When I've touched it, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, cause it's you. Yeah, look. Well, it's because she's terrified of you. It's more like under here. Or you're not going to touch her down there, are you? Oh, look at these long legs, Lucinda. Yeah. Look at these long I think legs. You'll be absolutely fine. You just didn't. You just wanted to ride something else this morning, didn't you? <laughs> no, she was sad about it. Oh, okay. Louise can back me up. When I just touched it, didn't she completely shudder? She did. Yeah. Although. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Like that, you went. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> Left of centre. Easy, Daddy. yep, and then again, once closer to the outside. Okay, so. Good. Ooh. And then we'll go into canter. Steady, rhythm Daddy. down, neck down. Lower, just circle <laughs> around here so it's, you get it go again. It's a little bit. Yeah, a bit haphazard. If you get the, what I call the wrong distance, let a neck go stretch, stretch, stretch. Steady, Ooh. good. Because she always wants to go quicker. Yeah. It's the way she is. Yeah. Through the poles, halt in the middle of the poles. Halt, straight, good girl. Bad luck. Oh, She's oh, oh, a bit of discipline. Good, and then trot on, canter right. Good, and then one circle hey. through those poles. Okay. Yeah, as in go up there. Oh wait, through the canter poles? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I want to see how, what distance she finds easy and then I can build it for her. Think of a circle after. Steady. Okay, gently, slightly left of centre. Steady. Ooh. Yeah, don't half hold too much. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because, because she's little and choppy, all right? Yeah. It's very easy for her to tense up. Ooh. Steady, just circle, circle, relax. Relax, like you did in the trot. Good. Sit right, relax. Don't hang on to her. Don't hang on. Good, don't hang on. Use your body. Yeah, you've got to use your body to slow her. Yeah. Right, you've got to think. Woo, give. 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 Good. Woo, give. Discipline. Yeah. Yeah? Because she winds herself up, but I promise you, it's mind over body. Yeah. Count and slow. Slow. Yeah, okay. Because you're drifting over the blue, 
Okay? Yeah. She's then finding the next ride long. Yeah. Horses will always change their lead onto the wrong lead if they're off the pole. Yeah. As in far off the pole. Yeah, yeah. The closer you are, okay, go again. Okay. So you've got to be turning. Yeah, I'm You're yeah. not turning because no. you're not looking at the last one. Okay. Okay, look at the first. Stay right of centre a little bit. Good. Now look last. Oh, oh, slow. Yeah, but you've got to ride number two, three, four, five, the same as number one. Does yeah. that make sense? Ride the same. Ride the same. Ride the same. Whoa, give. Well done. <laughs> She's like shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, she bounces over them. But you're still, I want you coming out here. Here. There you go. Yeah. Easier. Better, yeah. Because Good girl. you were riding the line, right? Look here. Look here. Ooh. Good. Whoa, give. Slowly. Good. Through the poles is great. Makes you ride somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah. I'd probably do the brown poles one earlier. Quietly, 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 quietly. You gave up. Yeah, I did because I was scared. So Good when girl. you get close, that feel is you've got to sit a little deeper. Sit deep. Sit deep. Yeah. And again. Ooh. Gently, gently, just quietly. The slower she can be, the less stress. The yeah, less that's pressure. She just the gets less so pressure. Light. Good. Now keep that. Look at the last. Just slow it. Ooh. Slow it. Slow it. Slow it. Better there you go. You let her go. Yeah, right? I do. That was better, good girl. Slow it. With these hotter horses, you must try to keep your leg yeah, cuddled. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's hard, cuddled. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like cuddled. Yeah. Okay, shrimp was the same, and Ellie would come round and, and, you know, as he get faster, take a leg off, he'd just go. Yeah. Whereas I'd sit on and go, whoa, whoa, like that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go again. On the right rein. Uh, left. Okay. Because, you, you know, she missed it out this morning. But it's important to be able to be confident that you can position her at the first oh, sorry, and maintain the line. Yeah, exactly. If you can't do it over poles, how are you going to do it over a jump? Turn early. Good. And think there are 15 of them. 15 of them. Not, yeah, 15. Ah. Yeah, so you're yeah. now still cantering over the poles. Make sure. You're still, every stride is over a canter pole. Every stride, every stride. Well done, keep counting. Yeah. Then you'll feel that <laughs> breakdown before it happens. Counting, wait, wait, good, turning, wait. Brilliant, brilliant, yeah, walk and, then... and patter. Walk and patter. Oh my God, you say we can pat. <laughs> yeah. Because you were both good. Yeah. Okay. She can do it. You yeah. just let her not do it. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, she goes fast. Oh. That's how we go. Because you're a little bit precious. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. Okay. Yeah. But I promise you, she can do it. And if you, in your mind, control the canter continuously, and not just there. Yeah. Yeah. But there all the way round. Yeah. Okay, now pick up canter and do it again. God, we don't get a long wall break. No. Here, do we? No. I've got, you know, things to do. <laughs> <laughs> got to get you through it's the grid. Woman, this. I've got to get you through the grid. All right, so I would come through, I want you to come through this one now, here. This one. Now you're looking. And every stride now is a canter pole. Turning, wait, good, keep going. Beautiful, good, good, lovely. Good, wait, good, wait, 
Well done. And walk okay. and patter. Ooh. Now she looks like a proper little pony. Yeah, and she feels yeah. like together and yeah. with me. Yeah. Rather than just All right, tearing Now me go around. on the right, because that's your. That's our bad rain, yeah. Shit. Line. Line. Good. Good. Well done. Well done. One more. If you get it right, we can jump. Looking, turn, wait, wait. Yeah, one more. Go this way, you're gonna try and take around your inside leg a little okay. bit more. Just think about that. Good, let her relax. Leg on, leg on. Well done, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, that was your fault, yep. don't worry. Good girl. Doesn't matter, she's probably better making her take a shorter stride. Yeah. Looking, shorter stride, turning. Turn, yeah, Ooh. doesn't matter, Ooh. take the canter. Focus on the canter, right. just your canter. You can do it. You're fine, you're doing yeah. it. You're doing just it. your right canter, think of right canter. Your aids, your body, your aids, bend right, bend right, there, bend right. Good, one more, that's right, bend right. Bend right, good. Good, you got it, let go, let's do it. Now wait. Yeah, good. well done. She finds that harder. She does, but that hard. was a, a lot, lot better than I'd ever get at home. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, I'd like, kind of yeah. given up with counter poles with her, because she just but goes, no, Whoa. she needs them. She does. Because it will force you to ride a better, more equal canter and keep my leg on because I'm time. so guilty. You of just could do a whole dressage speed. test with three of those poles in each corner, right? Straight she through here. I am well. Well, that's a bit scary. No, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's just it's just scary with all the poles. But we'll uh... as in the V poles. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, it's fine. I'll be I'll be big brave girl. There you go. I know. It's just you know. I yeah, jump they're across good the pole, they just the keep you in the middle. Yeah, no, I, I, I need them. Look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. <laughs> right, so where were you looking? At the poles. Yeah, she was looking down. Cl classic. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. At the end. So as you're coming round the corner, as you're coming round the corner, you're looking at the first pole. Now you're looking up. Look at the mirror. Look at the mirror. Look at the mirror. Mirror. She's like, right. ah, I've never jumped in my life. <laughs> right. Now come again in control. In what, sorry? In control. Okay. You're riding them short. Good. No, wait, 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 wait now. Okay, so that's gonna be two strides in there. You've got to land and two strides before the white one. Steady, 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 steady. Look up. Now half hold. Good girl. Well done. Better. Yeah. It can come a little quieter. Just quietly. Make her canter. Make. Look up. Look up. Hold her mouth. Hold her mouth. Hold her mouth. Ooh. Half hold. Lovely. Yeah. Very better. nice. Good girl, Dee Dee. Oh my word. This is good for us because Dee's literally, this is the issue I have at home. That's why I get okay, like, Meg? with her. Meg, just go, Vroom. Meg, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, Feel? yeah. Right, you're happy now. So the reason I put this pole here is to slow her a bit. She just rushes, doesn't she? Yeah, but as you come through, don't be frightened to just feel a half hole. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So you don't ever get to a combination and just let go. That's per uh, I'll put it on the front. Oh. I'll put the pole on the front, that's fine. All right, just on the front. Yeah. Okay, one and two. Yeah. Okay. And you land. So if you count and you, you, you try with a tight horse to be count a little slower, keep your body up. Just quietly, look at the last, look at the last. Look at the last wall. Good. Well done. Now, if anybody who's clever, video her eyes. Eyes. 
Right, your eyes are still looking down. Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Go again. And each time go one rain, then the other rain. Yep. Yeah? Yep. You're doing well, good girl. No, no, no. Because you've got to land in the rhythm that you take off in. Gently, good circle. Just let her relax down. Little bit more canter, just a little bit. Allow the back legs forward. Quietly, good. Feel her mouth. Keep your leg on, leg on, good. Now shoulders up, shoulders up. Lovely. So you've got to get the happy medium of not having her so choppy that she's only got one option, it's, which, which is, is to launch. To, is to launch. Yeah. So in your canter circles, your prep, Make sure the back legs are being allowed okay. to come forward Yeah, with your half hold. I think that's the issue I have is because she whizzes, I take everything away and then yes. she's got no option but to whiz because yes. she's not got any power. But she's also not that balanced in a medium canter. No, no. Okay, so that's the next thing as well. Okay. We have to do that as well. Quietly keep that right. Make sure her outside shoulder is in front of you, not to the right of you. Keep your body up, look up, squeeze her mouth, squeeze it, shoulders up, up. Good girl. Canter left, left, canter, 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 canter. Tina, she's coming through there. Canter, canter, good, square turn. By the rainbow poles, walk, good, canter right. Patter, good, and canter right. Ah, oh, lovely. All right, when you get to this jump, just do your best to stand a little higher off her. Okay. Stand a little higher okay. off her. Steady. Shoulders up. Squeeze her mouth. Good girl. B body up. Up, right. Sorry. Okay. Ah. She did a change though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good girl. Relax, sit. Oh. Square, square, Sorry, shoulders yeah, up, that square. Was rubbish. Oh, 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 yeah, don't oh, oh. look down so much. Yeah? Bloody hell. Because as soon as you look down, the weight and the balance goes on her yeah. shoulders. She's cool. She's dead cool. Isn't she? Right, she's, she's, she's the a last cool rider. one. On. Can we have the last jump on, uh, ladies, gentlemen? Oh, it's good to get, I feel like I haven't jumped D in so long. In fact, I don't think I've had a jumping lesson on D since I was here last. I'll fall over this. No, because I've put that down. Okay. I've. Doesn't look like you put it down. I have put it down, but I'll put it down again if you want. Lucinda, please. Oh yeah, sorry. Is that better? Thank you, that's better. Sorry, sorry, no. Okay, she doesn't need to rush through. Let her, let her have a look. If you're going to let her look, make her go at it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. She'll be fine. So, make sure you support her leg to the contact. She's like, it's yeah. like holding a hand. Yeah. It's like holding a kid's hand yeah. going across the road. Yeah. If you yank it, right, it'll sit down and say, I'm not going. Yeah. If you let it go, it'll get run over. Oh, I love that. It will get run over. <laughs> Parenting hacks with Lucinda. <laughs> Parenting, yes. Yeah. Porter, wrap your legs on her. Wrap your legs on her. Look in the mirror, tighten your hand, tight. Lovely, right. Trot. Ah! Trot, it's all right, my fault, canter. Doesn't matter. This Trot, is where through she, the poles, through the poles. She gets upset, come on. It's all right, on. through the poles, and then as you come out of them, turn right and canter, steady. Okay. Balance and canter. Good. 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 Nice uh -oh. patter. Don't loosen your fingers. Don't loosen, don't loosen. Tight, tight. Oh, she's Okay. Good. Canter, Ooh, canter, mucking. canter large. So, through here, I want your body to be more upright. Yeah. Because she creeps a bit. Doesn't matter, hold support her. Better at the last two, even though you messed up the first. Good. 
What? Pat up? And boot shot. <laughs> so, Megs, she was better here. I felt she was a little bit more airborne. Now, what I did was I made this shorter. Okay. Okay. But I couldn't quite work out what happened there. You basically... I dropped her. Dropped her. Yeah. She needs your support. Yeah. She really does. Yeah. She needs you to support her and she needs you to cuddle her. Yeah. Okay. Over the face. You've got a ni really nice position. Really nice. Because she's a bit divey. Yeah. You try to keep your upper body away from her ears okay. as she takes off. So sit a bit a bit taller throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sit away with your upper body. Yeah, to be fair, I felt I've gone like that a bit. Alright. So this is gonna go up. No. So therefore you need to give her more room. To, to lift up. her front end up, which will make you sit up. Okay, can right? we leave the, front, the first one? Yeah, though? yeah, I will. I'm a bloody wimp now. Come on, chop, chop. Good, now sit up, now, 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 now. Yeah! Ooh. Wrong way! <laughs> make a circle down there to think about yeah. what you're doing. Circle! Circle! Good. And really sit up with your body. Sit back, back now, back now. Yes. Ah, lovely. Left. Good. <laughs> Should I do that one more that time? Was much better. Yeah, that was better. And then she's not. And panicking. I feel like I have more time. Yes. It's like grannies that drive. Yeah. Okay, grannies, they drive like this. They got, they got no idea what's around them because they're like this. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Lewis Hamilton will sit like this so he's got the whole view. Yeah. All right. Should I come one be... more time? I think that's good for her. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Yeah. No, Robin. Good. Now sit back now. Back, 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 back. Good. Good. Turn right. Oh my God. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went on my front legs, not my back legs. She's landing disunited every time, though, isn't yes. she? Because so I think that's she's, why I'm she's like. I'm slightly I, anticipating where she's going. I feel. That's a decent old line. And yeah. She's and it's very like. It's, yeah. It's quick. Does she feel good? She does feel good. That's the most sure. I've enjoyed riding her in about a year <laughs> since I was last here, to be honest. Because she just, I find her so like whizzy and tense, and then I pull against her and kill the engine, and we've just got this horrible, like, Ugh, and she doesn't use herself. Whereas that, okay, she did felt, that feel enough for her? I think if we're jumping tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Fine. fine. That, that's fine. That's, you know, I'll go with whatever. Yeah, no, but I, think I, she's I enjoyed that. Good. You feel confident. That's good. Yeah, so, I've and you really feel lost my that confidence you can, since Bixton. You know, the whole thing with jumping is being confident that you can ride where you need to ride. You need to ride, the yeah. line you need to ride, the outline you need to ride. Yeah. She's very straight. Yeah. She's very straight, which yeah. is great. When you land, try to feel the back the, legs. Yes. Right. And she would be hard to feel because she's choppy. And it's yeah, it's almost like she does those steps where they're both moving as yep. one. She like yep, bunny absolutely. hops. Absolutely. And then I just commit to one and it's always the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But no, um, that was really good. That was really, really you good. You know, and it's, I think it's always really good to do a grid when you are preparing to jump the next day. Because right. I think it makes everybody quite confident. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Righty ho, guys. That is my jumping session done with Dee Dee. Oh, I've just realised. Yay. Wanted to check my husk boots. It's the first time that Dee's worn them because they're meant to be for jumbo. Um, but yeah, wanted to test her out in them because I'm looking for some boots that she can actually go cross country in. So I'm just a bit worried at badminton when the fences are max height with brush and stuff. Normally, she wouldn't touch them, but we'll see. But these have done well. Anyway, fabulous, fabulous jump session. Really pleased. You guys know if you've watched my 
content recently. I've just been a bit iffy with Dee. I always struggle with her this time of year, probably because of the lack of lessons and like going out and doing stuff. We get a bit stuck in a rut. And she's just gotten really speedy and like we're not bending, we're really tense, we're stuck through our body. Um, so I haven't actually jumped her. I haven't jumped her in so long. Genuinely, that might be my first jump of the year on her, thinking about it. Really haven't jumped her much, but that was absolutely fabulous. It was a really like technical grid. There was loads of stuff for her to look at, which is good for slowing us down. But also, it's so helpful to have Lucinda here and like, she's right, I kill the engine, which makes Dee actually choppier and faster because she feels like she, she's looking at what's being set up tomorrow. Um, yeah, she feels like she's got no, um, she's a bit buzzy today. Anyway, very, very pleased. I'm going to keep walking her off and then it's going to be Tina's turn. She is back. Good girl. And here is gorgeous Dee Dee. We're just going to make the most of this last bit of light and get some photos because we've all got this super warm toggy jumper. So we're going to get a photo of me, Tina and Lucinda and then graze the ponies and be off to the pub in the bed. So behind me, is what's happening tomorrow, arena cross country. I don't know what's going on with my confidence, but it's gone. I actually think I do need to get in touch with someone like sports psychology wise. Cause even today, like it's just, like I'm, I never like to jump as big on D because she's not as scopey and she's like a precious little Dee Dee. I don't like to ever push her out of our comfort zone. But like every time Lucinda went near a fence, I mean, it wasn't like they weren't even big and I'd be like, mm, when she went to put them up. So yeah, and even like building that now, Tina's really excited and I'm just like, I feel really apprehensive about it. And it's not me, like, that's not how I normally am. Like I'd normally be like, yeah, like I'll do that, I'll do that. To, you know, within reason. Anyway, I'm glad that I'm doing it with Lucinda on the ground. She will, she's already said, she's like, don't worry, like I'm not gonna overface you, it'll be fine. And I need to have a bit of, bit of faith in you, don't I? Gorgeous girl. Anyway, hope you enjoyed day two. We will see you again for tomorrow, cross country day. Sadly, we can't find anywhere where we can school because it's just, ground's not quite right. Still in February after all. all right guys, live laughing, love ya. I've sent me an outro, that's how scared I am at tomorrow. Bye. Biggest fear at the minute is death. Second biggest fear is ruining Ellie's advanced horse. Good, good, look up, up, up.